Hey guys, I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. This tutorial is an Illustrator tutorial that was inspired by Aaron Draplin's Thick Lines poster series. Now if you don't know who Aaron Draplin is, I posted a link in the description below. He takes on like a logo design challenge in that one. Uh, it, it'll give you a good insight to who he is and actually the first scene in that shows his posters in the background behind him. So anyway, I wanted to create something in memory of my Aunt Becky who we lost this year and she had an infinite amount of love for everyone in this world. So it makes sense for me to recreate these posters with the heart shape. That's what we're going to do in this tutorial. We're going to get started by creating a new document. Go up to File, New, that's Command N on a Mac or Control N on a PC. Uh, I'm just going to select a print. Actually, no, I'm going to select something that's more like a sheet of paper. So let's go to uh, let's go to the Print tab, and it gives you some templates up templates up here. And we're going to do the letter size. Actually, I don't want it in points. I want it in inches. So eight and a half by eleven is the sheet size that I'm going to use. And we're going to do RGB color mode because this is going to end up being something that I put on the web, you know, as a thumbnail image and and things like that. Uh, let's hit Create. All right, so we're gonna create this, this sort of poster with the heart shape. So the first thing I wanna do is show my rulers, and I do that by hitting Command-R, that's the shortcut key. That brings up my rulers up here, that's Control-R on a PC. I can also go up to View and then down to Rulers, and then you can show and hide rulers from there. I came to view because I wanted to also show you the smart guides option with command U as a shortcut. Uh, make sure this is checkmarked as well. That's going to really help you line things up in your design as we're creating. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to pull out a vertical guide from uh, the left side of my rulers here. I'm just going to put them in the middle of this sheet. Actually, no, let's build it out here. So we're going to put it out here, and uh, I'm going to move this guy away from that sheet of, sheet of paper, uh, away from my artboard for a second. So this is my guide, and the reason I'm going to use this is we're going to use two effects in this that are a little bit different than probably the normal things that you might do in Illustrator. So it's a little bit more advanced, maybe. Uh, the first one we're going to use is a transform effect. The second one's the blend tool. So I'm going to show you maybe a cool way to create a heart shape that you might not have thought of before. We're going to grab the pen tool over here. The shortcut key for that is P, and we're going to create a heart shape. Uh, using a bit of this guide, except we're only going to create half of it. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit there. And what I want to do with the pen tool is just click, and that's going to start my point, and I'm going to drag out in the direction that I want my heart to go. So I'm creating the left side of this heart, so I'm going to drag out this way, and it's going to go all the way around and then uh, meet back at the bottom of our guide here. So I'm just going to let go somewhere out there. We're going to adjust this later. And you can see if you're updated that it has like a little guide for you that shows you where this curve is going to end up. I'm going to create one more point out here. Uh, for now, I'll use these smart guys just to create it like out at the same and on the same horizontal plane as my other point. So we'll grab that, and I'm going to once again click and drag to point in the direction that I want this uh, shape to go. And my third point is going to be back down here, and we're just going to click down there and we're going to drag it out as if it was going to keep going in this uh, to the right here just to get a little bit of an arc on the uh, left side of my heart there. I'm going to let go and we're going to close this shape up by clicking on uh, the original anchor point that we created. You'll notice that there's a there's a circle on the cursor now when I hover over that and that means it's going to close the path. So I'm going to click there and I still have this wonky shape over here so I'm going to hold option and grab this handle and just take it all the way back to the point to get rid of it. So we've got kind of a weird shape here that's uh, sort of half a heart, but if we duplicated this over, it would not be a very good heart yet. We're not gonna worry about that yet. We're gonna switch over to the selection tool. Shortcut key for that is V. And I'm gonna grab a swatch up here. And this is where we need to start picking our colors. So I'm actually gonna pick two colors. Um, let's just grab this, this sort of magenta. It is the CMYK magenta, that's okay. Now let's grab this one down here, this random little color down here. It's a very hot pink, and for the stroke, we have no stroke, that's good. And now that we picked that, let's go ahead and select our two colors. So I'm gonna create two shapes that are gonna be like our swatch colors. First, I'll just grab the rectangle tool and just kinda of create a quick little square. And from here, I'm gonna switch over to the select selection tool. Um, I'll do that a lot in this tutorial. The shortcut key for that is V. And I'm gonna hold option with this selected and click and drag with the shift key to drag it down and I'm gonna create a second duplicate square. From here, I am going to actually go to my color 
panel over here to the right. If you don't see it, go to Window, down to Color. That's also F6. It'll pop it out over here. And I've got my RGB color thingies here, but I'm just going to double click on this fill to bring up the color picker. From here, I'm going to select two colors. That's all we need. I'm going to select one color that's a very, very light pink. And the I'm going to hit OK on that, so that's this guy. And then this one's a little too hot for me, so let's, let's double click that and bring him down to the grays a little more, uh, maybe a little bit more red. Uh, somewhere in this realm is good. Hit OK. All right, there we go. So we got our two colors here, kind of muted red. I'm going to click on my half heart shape and then hit the I key for the eyedropper tool that's also over here in the toolbar. And I'm going to select this red color. And we're going to do like this uh, gradient pattern of thick lines from the red to this white. Uh, but for now, let's create our heart because this doesn't look like a heart whatsoever. So we created half a heart. Let's go to Effect, Distort, and Transform, and we're going to select Transform. And from here, it opens up a little dialog. It's got all these different options. What we're concerned with is a couple of things. First off, let's check Preview so we can see what's happening. Second, let's, let's add one copy because we're going to duplicate this over. Um, and we want to keep our existing shape, so we want to create a copy of it. Then I'm going to also select the registration being the right side of the shape, the center right here. That's going to put the registration point right here. So we're going to flip it right over that with reflect X. There we go. We got a really weird heart shape going, but that's okay. So all this is set up perfectly. Reflect X, copies one, registration to the right. And make sure transform objects and transform patterns is checked. I don't know if it matters, but I have them checked, so you know, just make sure you match this. Hit OK. Here's the cool part, you guys. This is uh, probably this is why I'm showing you how to create a heart this way. If I go to my direct selection tool, which is also the shortcut key A, and click on one of my points, I can actually move these handles around and completely adjust my heart. And notice the other side is adjusting at the same time. We've created like a rig for the heart shape here. And I can sit here and adjust these handles all day long to create any kind of a heart shape that I want. And I can completely redo them if I switch to the pin tool with um, P, <laughs> the letter P, and hold option, I can redo these anchor points if I ever wanted to. Completely edit and customize this heart shape. So let's get this thing looking like more of a, I don't know, a nicer heart than this. This is kind of a crummy heart. Let's get, let's just move this around a little bit. I'm uh, using my direct selection tool to move these points and I kind of want a flat dip here. And so I'm looking for a bit of a fatter heart shape and maybe something where this, maybe this comes around a little bit more and then this handle might pop up a little bit, not too much. And we'll bring him in some uh, we're just going to find a nice little, there we go. I, I kind of like that. I kind of like that shape right there. Uh, so this is our heart shape, right? Alrighty, let's zoom out a little bit. We've got a heart. Um, we can go ahead and get rid of this guide now. And you can just like select guides and then delete them. Um, sometimes they don't delete because in, underneath the view tab, if you go to guides, you might have them locked. Uh, so just, you can also hide them with, with command. Um, semicolon, I, I do that a lot as well. But uh, if you can't delete your guys, make sure they're not locked. All right, so here's our heart. And I'm getting a look at it like this. And I think one thing I'm going to do is actually bring this a little bit closer in. I don't know. There's a million different ways you can you can edit this heart shape. That's, that's besides the point. Okay, here we go. Uh, I've got a heart. He's editable. This guy's editable. I'm going to switch to my selection tool. That's shortcut key V. He's editable. I'm going to drag him over here. Hold option. I'm just going to create a duplicate. And I'm going to keep that editable uh, shape over there. From this point, I'm going to go up to object and then expand appearance. And that's going to expand this shape. And now I have actually, it's a group. If I double click into it, I've got these two shapes now, right? So let's undo that. What I can do with this is actually use the Pathfinder option and just merge them together or unite them together. And that'll create one full shape. Now you might see it as still two shapes and what I would recommend is using this merge option down here if the shapes aren't working um, in your favor, like if the points are being funky and weird, but you should get a full single shape heart. This is going way too long, I'm sorry guys, but I like to explain my stuff. 
All right, so what we're going to do here, this is going to be quick. Take this heart, duplicate him up, and hold shift to keep him aligned, and let go. Now this guy, he's going to take on this color over here. So let's, let's eyedropper that with the I key, and then just click on that shape while this one's selected. Go back to the selection tool, and we're going to use this. We're going to hold shift and option, and click on the corner and drag. I'm going to create a much, much bigger heart. And this is going to be the final uh, sort of heart on our design. Now I want to send this to the back. That's shift command left bracket, but you can also right click, go to arrange, and then send it to back. And so now we have this heart in front of this heart, and I'm going to click and select both of them by holding shift and clicking on both of them. Go up to object, go down to blend, go down to blend options, and what we need here is to select specified steps, and I'm going to specify the number of copies between these two hearts. So let's do, let me think, uh, five. F yeah, five will create five steps. Maybe that'll be six shapes. I'm not sure. Uh, and I'm going to hit OK. But nothing happens yet because I need to actually make the blend. We just adjusted the blend option. So I'm going to go back to blend and we're going to hit make. There we go. We have created a sort of like this gradient of shapes from one heart to the other that get incrementally uh, larger as they go along. This is okay. This is interesting. This reminds me of like, I don't know what, like 80s uh, or 70s like patterns and stuff or like some really dirty hotel room. Uh, all right, so I'm going to bring this over here to create my little poster. And I think what I want to do is actually create a bigger shape in the back here so that it make, I make sure it covers all the bottom of this. So you'll see that there's two shapes outlined here, my large shape and my smaller shape of my blend. If I double click into this, I can then click on and edit one or the other. So I'm gonna click on this larger one and we're gonna make him bigger. I'm gonna zoom out and use that same shift and option to scale from the center. And we're gonna make him at least big enough to cover our entire uh, page. So we'll let go and it completely, it, like it is a live editing of the blend. So it will just edit and adjust for you. And now I'm going to drag him down a little bit. Uh, let's see here. We're going we're gonna to make sure that some of him comes onto the page here. Drag him down a little bit more, but not all the way. Okay, there we go. There's a little bit on the page there. Uh, and then we've got the heart down here. It looks pretty good. Let's bring him up. Let's try to do the rule of thirds, right? Um, in photography, you, you split your page or your canvas into thirds, or in, in art and design. And the rule of thirds just help things look a little bit better. So we're going to put him about where that third would be across this canvas here. And let's go ahead and double click out of this blend. So we were inside that blend. You double click into it, and then you can click on the shapes and edit them. Now from here, we're going to center it up. Uh, I'm going to center it horizontally, so I'm just going to grab that and then click on this. It's aligned to selection. I need to change it to align to artboard, and then I can use my uh, horizontal align center to make sure he's centered up on the page. And it's a little hard to see, right, because it's all like going outside the, uh, the artboard and stuff. So we need to make another shape. Uh, so grab the rectangle tool. The shortcut key for that is M, and create a shape that's the size of your artboard. And I just freehanded that, but you can make sure it's the size by switching to the selection tool, that's shortcut key V, going to transform, and making sure that the width and the height are the actual values of, or the size of your artboard. And then if I click on this and use my horizontal and vertical align, I can make sure that it's smack dab in the middle of that artboard. Okay, doesn't matter what color this is, but it does matter that it's on top of my blend. I uh, just need to select everything here and then go up to, well actually I can just right click on this and uh, make a clipping mask. And that will clip everything inside of that shape, which in turn clips it inside of the artboard because we made that shape the size of the artboard. So let's zoom in here. All right, so here is our poster. We did it. I'm gonna double click on this heart. I feel like this heart's a little low still, so I'm just gonna hold shift and arrow up a little bit to just kind of click him up there. We're going to go outside of that. Are we centered? I don't know. We'll double click. We'll grab this blend. We'll make sure it's centered up. Looks pretty good. 
I'm going to grab a ruler and just see where that center is. I'm going to hold shift to kind of lock it in. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, here we go. I see. So the little heart, so in case you run into this, the smaller heart is actually off center from the bigger heart. So I'm going to center that without centering the entire blend. So I'm going to double click inside of here. I thought something <laughs> looked a little bit off, right? And it's just that much. That's all it takes. So now that I'm clicked all the way inside and have that heart selected, I believe that I can horizontal line center. Boop. And it scoots it right over. Perfect. I'll double click out of there. Don't know how that got off center, but I'll use my shortcut key command uh, semicolon to hide that guide. And there's our poster. So it's maybe not the best heart shape in the world. I'm sure you guys can create better heart shapes, but this is the look I was going for. This is kind of inspired by Aaron Draplin's Thick Lines poster series, and uh, that's how that's how to make it. That's I, I I ramble on in every tutorial, but I thought I'd show you guys like a kind of a unique way to create an editable like rig for heart shape or any other shape that's symmetrical right create whatever shape you want out of that if you're working on something that's symmetrical so i hope that was valuable to you i hope you guys that don't know about the blend tool kind of learned a, bit, a little bit more about it you can create cool um you know those flat long shadows you can create those with the blend tool so there's a lot of really neat effects you can do here anyway guys if you found any of this useful make sure you like this video also, if you're new to the channel, uh, this is the first time you've watched any video from me, I'd love it if you subscribed. I do tips, tutorials, free resources, live streams, all kinds of stuff. Um, I don't know if you find it interesting. If you don't, don't worry about it. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you next time.